السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear Grade 5 Students Hello again I am Ahmed Al-Farahati And I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study Unit 3 Growing Up Lesson 3 Please open your class book to page 28 Yes, this page Grammar Section What are the aims of this lesson? Let's check Unit 3 Growing Up Lesson 3 Class book pages 28 and 29 Activities 1, 2, 3 and 4 The aims In this lesson students will Understand and practice using can and can't ask and answer questions about what a baby can or can't do solve riddles activity one listen and think look at these pictures read the verbs and the phrases written under each picture now let's listen and try to point to the correct picture. Listening 3.3 Read a book. Yes, read a book, this one. Picture 4 Cry. Yes, cry. Picture 6 Ride a bike. Yes, ride a bike. Picture 2 Play with toys. Play with toys. Picture 8. Use a phone. Picture 5. Drink milk. Picture 3. Use a computer. Picture 7. Sleep. Picture 1. Activity 2. Ask and answer. Now we will use the verbs here in order to make a question. Can a baby cry? Yes, a baby can cry. Can a baby ride a bike? No, a baby can't ride a bike. Now you are asked to make questions and answers but now let's listen to these two questions listening 3.4 can a baby cry yes a baby can cry listening 3.5 can a baby ride a bike no a baby can't ride a bike so let's write a question and an answer yes can a baby for example play with toys don't forget to put a question mark at the end of the question yes the answer is yes a baby can play with toys you can make questions like these and write the answers, yes or no. To your knowledge, when we ask about the ability, we use the question can, then the subject, then the verb in the infinitive case. Okay? Can you ride a bike? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can you use a computer yes i can no i can't so can a baby yes a baby can no a baby can't let's go to page 29 activity 3 read think and match now you are asked to read these sentences and match them to the pictures 
take your time to do this activity then come back to check your answers hello again one they can fly but they can't swim yes which one d the parrots two they can swim but they can't fly yes which one penguins yes b number three it can jump but it can't fly yes can grow a it can swim but it can't climb yeah the crocodile c can you write the names of these animals try to write them activity 4 listen read and think now we will listen to these riddles and try to solve them let's listen listening 3.6 1 it has wings but it can't fly it lives on the ice not in the sky what is it? Try to think. Two. You can see it, but you can't touch it. It adds color to the sky, but it can't fly. What is it? Three. It can move, but it can't walk. It can fly, but it can't talk. It carries people, but they can't carry it. It's not a bird, so what is it? You can now... Now you can read these riddles and try to write the answers. 1. It has wings, but it can't fly. It lives on the ice, not in the sky. Yes. Yeah, excellent. It's penguin. Then, Gwen. Yeah. Number two. You can see it, but you can't touch it. It adds color to the sky, but it can't fly. Yeah, this is rainbow. okay number three it can move but it can't walk it can fly but it can't talk it carries people but they can't carry it it's not a bird so what is it yeah let's write is so what is it yeah yes it's the plane by this we've achieved the, the aims of this lesson but before we say goodbye let me give you homework you are asked to memorize these words for spelling caterpillar butterfly bee ant worm spider beetle snail bird frog and you can write these words at home try to memorize them Use the, look, cover, write, and the check method or way of memorizing words. You can read the word, caterpillar. Yeah. Look at it carefully. Then cover the word. Then try to write it again. Then check your writing. If it is correct, that means you memorize it. If it isn't correct, that means you have to try memorizing it again and also take care be careful of the correct pronunciation of the word thank you for following me seeing you in another lesson inshallah goodbye